Hello everyone. Let's solve one more question from the same development of uh, surface chapter. The question says that develop the lateral surface. Lateral means only the faces. Pentagonal prism. Prism means parallel line method. Base edge is given 20 and resting on its base on HP such that one base edge is parallel to HP. So resting on on HP means no gap from front view and XY. And one uh, base edge is parallel to VP means it will have one base edge parallel and on the side how it will come we will see and uh, height is given 60 so let's solve this question so first of all we draw the xy line as we do in all the questions so this is vp hp so i told you every time we have to start with the top view so when we have to draw a polygon i have given you the formula uh, internal angle that is 180 minus 360 by n so if you take the internal angle of this you are getting the internal angle that is equals to 108 so i have taken 20 on this side now why i have taken this line because it is given in the question one base edge is parallel to vp i told you one base edge parallel to vp means parallel to xy also so that is why i have taken this line parallel to xy from this side 108 so i'm taking 110 and it is 108 to this point now after that we have to mark the same 1 to 20 on this side then put the protector on this side now from this point 108 so 110 minus 2 this is 108 again you have to take 1 2 20 grab this part now put, put the protector here 108 20 and then we can join the closing side so this is the top view of the pentagonal prism now we will start, uh, make the front view how we make the front view directly take the projection lines on xy then after that we will see how many faces will be visible and for this corner also there are five projection lines coming like this now i have told you the easy way always do the numbering and uh, number of faces from this side means you are standing from this side you are watching so if you watch the prism from this side one face and two face means this base edge and this edges. only these two base edges or we can say the faces are visible from this side so only two will be dark here i'll tell you means it is having height 60 okay so i will take the height 60 this one and here also and then you will close this side and this side also now this is the outer surface but how many faces will be visible one and two so from this point a projection line is this so it means you have to darken this part right so this is the front view only two faces visible as you can see only one and two faces are there now what about these it will come as a hidden line because these are not visible but present in the object so you have to show them like dashes continuous dashed line 3131 we know how to draw the hidden edges like this right now we will do the numbering but before that i will teach you this again how we have decided if you have uh, noticed the 3d and this is the shape how pentagonal prism is placed you are watching from this side you can see one surface and two surface only but these edges they are present in the object but not visible this one and this one so we are showing these two 
as the hidden lines here right but these two are visible so that is why they are dark now we will do the numbering i have given you the easy way to do the numbering from extreme left i will start from here from extreme left let's say i give the numerals outside to five corners so these outside will come at the top one so from this side one two three three will be outside four five inside so one dash two dash three dash this is the easiest way to give the numbering otherwise you have to imagine the solid every solid if in exam a solid is coming which is not you have not seen that uh, solid then it will be a difficult task so you can follow the same rule start from extreme left corner anti-clockwise give the numbering a b c d from this side a b c d you can see these are coming visible outside d e inside because not visible so a dash because this is the front view so we are using the dashes like this right i have explained this numbering in the previous video uh, development of a square prism you can watch that i have explained it uh, in both the ways now we have to take any gap from here now it is having 20 sides so means 5 5 base edges are there so 5 20 sides so 20 20 5 times right now we have the height value that is what 60 so we will take the 60 height Then we will close the surface. Like this. So this is the total surface. Now we will give the numbering to this also. And after that again A. Same here. Now here these face edges, these will be dark because when you open a square, a pentagon or a hexagon prism, so these faces and with the face edges, they will be visible. You will bend the sheet from these edges. You will bend the sheet so that you can get the closed prism. So we give the dimension to this part also. Now what will be the dimension of this? 5 times 20. So I suggest you to keep the dimension in this way n into b means n is the number of side that is 5 into base is 20 that is what 100 so right same here you have to give the height and this also so this is the height 60. Same here we can give one base edge is required to give the dimension in top view. No need to give the dimension of all the base edges. So it is given over there that is 20. So one base is 20 and here you should give the height of front view separate. So this is 60 and here the name of this view is front view and this is top view. Space was less that is why I have written front view in short form otherwise you have to give in detail. So this is the development of surface and this is the surface which is representing development of surface. So this is the solution.